Welcome back to WP Sports Desk. I'm joined by Chris Turner Demondo and Philip Dimitrovsky as we break down the top teams in the Premier League. Chris, let's start off by talking about how the top 10 stands right now. Well, Mason, there's not many surprises, but there are a few surprises in the top 10. Let's take a look at the top 10 standings mm -hmm. where Manchester City stands in first place with 18 points. Tottenham did defeat them. They're right behind them with 17 points. Arsenal, Liverpool, and Everton falling a little behind, but only 16 and 14 points for respected teams. Manchester United sits basically right at the middle with 13. And then Chelsea, Crystal Palace, West Brom, and Southampton in those 7, 8, 9, 10 spots, really starting to fall away from the top of the pack. Now, Chris, who really surprises you with this one? I'd say West Brom surprises me. Honestly, when West Brom's a lower-level team, mm -hmm. and honestly, they're, they're not very good. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's the inconsistency from everywhere else mm -hmm. that they've been able to crack the top 10. Okay. But I'd be blown away if West Brom stays in the top 10. So, um, I'm honestly surprised by Manchester United. I'm surprised they're even in the top 10. They've been a terrible team, completely out of form, expected to, to be one of the best teams in the world, not just the league, and they are just terrible right now. You, you can't tell me that this is going to stay. I know they've been a little inconsistent, but this, this team's too good. Come on, they have Pogba, Ibra, Rooney, Mourinho's the coach. You can't convince me this team's going to be worse than a top five team making Champions League. Come on. If, if they don't improve the chemistry, they have terrible chemistry problems. Pogba cannot fit in that team. He's playing immaturely. He's not good for that team right now. I don't, I don't see them picking up this chemistry problem quickly enough. Now let's stay on the topic of Manchester City. Do you think they're back to being the best club in England right now? Well, if you look at their stats right now, mm -hmm. seven weeks in, they have six wins and only one loss to Tottenham. Mm -hmm. they, are, they right now look like the most dominant team in the league, mm -hmm. without a doubt. Chris? They, it pains me to say, but look, 18 points in six games and only one loss. This is, this is my rival. Right. As a diehard United fan, this is my rival, but this is, this is the best team in England. I, it's paining me to say it, but honestly, Pep Guardiola's got the ship sailing in, in Manchester. Pep Guardiola is a genius with football. It, it's hard he can to do no wrong. Now, guys, the defending champions seem to be forgot about this year. Uh, let's talk about the Cinderella story. Where did it go here? Well, when it comes down to things, mm -hmm. if you take a look back at the top ten, mm -hmm. and we look, there's Manchester City at the top, but there's no Leicester City in there. Right. Leicester City's only got eight points, two wins. They're not even there. You can't even see them. That's mm -hmm. the problem with Leicester. Right. I think they're a much better team, but they're not even I on the top ten. When you take a look at their stats so mm -hmm. far, not the best, eight points, two wins, three losses is, hurts them, but two draws. This team's better. This is a defending Chris, championship Chris, team. I'm gonna, have yeah. to, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Leicester is not a good football team. How, it's, how? I'm sorry to break it to you. They got lucky last year. They got lucky the league was one of the worst Premier Leagues we've ever seen. No, no, luck is if a game, if you win seven straight games, that's luck for a team like Leicester. They played great for 38 straight games. 38, Philip. This is the defending I'm, champions. I'm, they look phenomenal. I'm you not can't trying. be convinced that seven games in, they're going to be this bad. I'm not trying to take away. I'm, I'm so happy they won the championship. It's so refreshing to see such an underdog pull ahead and win it. But if, if you had a team like Manchester City this year playing last year, there's no shot they would ever win the title. There's no chance. I disagree. I think this team, I think this is a solid team. It was a fluke. It, a fluke. This is the greatest underdog story in history. And I'm proud There's, to have witnessed it. Yeah, but how can that be a fluke? A fluke is a one-game win, a two-game win. Mm. 38 games. They played phenomenal, if, Philip. That's if, fantastic. Any other year, if Leicester had that season, they would have been a top-four team. All right, I'll give them that. They would have been a, a solid squad. But winning the entire Premier League, a team like Leicester City, having Mares and Vardy be your two top guys, you, cannot win, you can't win Premier League like that. Guys, let's, uh, let's wrap it up here with talking about Jamie Vardy and Riyad Mahrez. We've seen them perform well in the past. Do we see them stepping up again? Well, Mason, if we look at their stats so far throughout the season, just like Leicester as a team, it's been unimpressive. Mahrez in seven games has one goal and only zero assists. Come on, Mahrez, you need assists. Vardy in seven games has at least two goals, which is nothing impressive, and one assist, both with 17 and 12 shots. These stats aren't staying like this. I, I hate to break it to you, Philip. These are two world-class players. They proved it last year. These stats are not staying like this. Come on. Man. Calling these two guys world-class is asinine to me. Guys in the Premier League that are world-class are Paul Pogba, Aguero, Ozil. Those guys are top-of-the-world types of players. Mares had 
he, he won the player of the year. He, I'll give him that. Was the best player last year. But one season does not prove that he's a world-class player. He needs more to prove. And clearly, if you look at the stats, he's not proving it. But Jamie Vardy sets the record for most goals in consecutive games, and that's unimpressive. It, come it's, on. It's Who imp- knows? What if he repeats that and just goes seven straight games, seven goals? It, it's impressive this year, but uh, last year, but it's not impressive this year. This year, two goals. For the guy who who's claimed to be one of the best strikers in the league last year, it's unimpressive. It's a I, disappointment. I think they're going to prove you wrong. I don't think they're world class players. They're going to prove they're, you they're wrong. Solid players calling them world class, I think, is absolutely crazy. No way. Guys, there's still a long season ahead, so only time will tell how these clubs will finish out. That's all the time we have for WP Sports Desk. Join us next week for more in-depth analysis. Thank you to our analysts, our crew, and our studio manager Al Clark from Studio B in Hobart Hall. I'm Mason Mills. See you next week.